I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Good morning, I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. And we're on the road again. So, this is a, we found this little RV park down by Lakeview, Oregon. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, there was like three people here. So we drive up, lady walks up and goes, ah, it's 20 bucks. And then it goes down to like 15 bucks. It says, oh, we don't have water. And I tried to go in my wallet and I only have $13, but the rest is 20s, but she doesn't need it. So I was going to give her a 20. She goes, ah, 13's fine. <laughs> So we got this great place to stop overnight, 13 bucks. Got a hot shower, got it's hot, great. Yeah, just got electricity, no water, because it's still real cold here. So anyway, that's how we started our uh, first adventure on the road again. So today we're going to try to get down towards Reno. Yep. Yep. So we're getting ready to hook up and hit the road again. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, just checking in with you guys. We're actually in California now, uh, down by Susanville, to stop the pullover to use our mobile restroom, which is behind us. That's the one thing that's nice about RVing, guys, is you don't have to wait for rest areas, and you just need to stretch, and it's a great chance to uh, let Cinder and uh, have a break, too. So if you look behind me, you can kind of see Sherry and them back there, walking around. Letting Cinder have a break. So anyway, we may make it through Reno today and to Fallon and possibly Hawthorne and then spend the night and then maybe shoot for Vegas after that. We'll see. But talk to you later. Morning, I'm Rob. And I'm Sherry. And we are in Hawthorne. Yep. Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so right behind us is the first flowers we've seen for spring. Yep. Yep. So right behind us is some uh, cherry blossoms. Uh -huh. So we don't have any of those in Washington yet, but it's getting close. So uh, we destroyed our remote. Yes, we did. <laughs> we killed it. So we are at a rest area. And uh, we uh, stopped for lunch, mm -hmm. and somehow our remote to our television fell down behind the counter, which is where the slide was. And when the slide got moved, it fell in between the slide and the wall. When we closed the slide, we destroyed the remote. <laughs> <laughs> it squished it. It squished. Oh God. So today we are planning on heading for Las Vegas. Las Vegas. And uh, we're going to take our time. There's lots of ghost towns and things like that. Um, and the town of Betty. Is that, is that how you say it? Cool. Anyway, <laughs> they got a candy store there. That's a great place to get candy. So anyway, uh, I think that covers everything on this trip so far. Be in Vegas pretty soon. And then we'll start showing you some really cool stuff. Uh, we'll be in Vegas for about seven days. Um, from there, we're going to pivot off to the different places to go look at. Uh, uh, the Red Rock areas, the Lake Mead, the dam, whatever we end up doing. Maybe some uh, museums we haven't seen yet. Um, so anyway, talk to you later, guys. 
Stay tuned. <laughs> Bye. Bye. in the town of Beatty, some people call it Betty, and we're about a hundred miles out of Vegas, and sorry about the wind, but you have to stop here. You have to. You can't go by this town at all because it's got a candy store, and this is where I get my favorite what are chocolate haystacks. Chocolate haystacks. You got to get milk chocolate and dark chocolate, and then there's so much other candy there. I might have to get something else too. So this is Betty, Beatty. I'll turn it so you can see where we're walking. And I'll show you the store when I get there. Candy. So the name of this place is called Death Valley Candy Company. So, there it is. Well, that was awesome. So, what did we end up getting? What's our inventory? Um, what did you get? I got some banana chips and some peanuts. And I got. Milk chocolate haystacks, dark chocolate haystacks, and then I accidentally, it was purely an accident, bought cinnamon bears. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, have a Subway sandwich that we picked up here yep. at BD, and then we're gonna hit the road again, and we'll be in Vegas in, I don't know, hours. about four o'clock. Yep. So, <laughs> a good stop. I highly recommend candy at BD. Bye. So just before we get to Vegas, we just have a place here we like to get gas. And this place cracks me up because it's, you can get gas here and there's a brothel in the background. So if you see behind me there. So uh, I guess you can get your fill here. Hi guys, so I'm on the side of the road and uh, we blew a tire. So I thought I'd show you what happened. And it did damage our RV right here. We did put the spare on. We had the lower, the lower. had to dig a hole so we could get the tire in. Got it on. We had to let the air out of the tire. So luckily we have a compressor on here. We have to do something temporary to hold this until we get to Las Vegas. But we made it. We're getting it. Shit happens, stuff happens, sorry. All right, there it is, we got a tire. Anyway, there you go, it happens to everybody, guys. Well, I'm gonna put this away. 
Cinder says hello. Hi, Cinder. Or BB. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Hi, guys. We thought we'd conclude our video from what happened yesterday at, on our way to Vegas here. We are in Vegas. Um, and we blew a tire. <laughs> big yeah, time. big time. And uh, where we're at, we do have airplanes going over and birds and very busy places, a very big RV park. So sorry about the sound. But we're gonna kind of hold the microphone close. So when we blew our tire, it exploded. Yep, and we were pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So it actually blew the fender off of the side of our RV, which you saw quickly. Uh, what you didn't see was our repair. We did uh, get, um, get the sheet metal screwed into the side of the RV and then we we're able to duct tape. <laughs> we, we used some white Gorilla tape to uh, just put over the loose areas to make sure there was no air flow. Yeah. So, so it, it held covered it up a yeah, little bit. It held together fine. So what was really weird is uh, uh, what we really like about the Montana is we have hydraulic uh, levelers. So what we did is we braced the side of the RV with a whole bunch of blocks mm -hmm. on the side of the flat tire. And then we just lifted with the hydraulics using the lifters, actually got the RV off the ground on one side just using hydraulics. Well, kind of off yeah. the ground. So you probably heard us saying we dug a hole. So since the tire is flat, we took the lugs off, took the flat tire off, but we needed to make more space to put the new tire in. So we did two things. We let the air out. We let the air out of the spare tire and we kind of dug a hole. Thank goodness we were parked in the gravel, not on any pavement of any sort. Yeah. And uh, so we dug a hole and then we let the air out of the spare. So we had lots of uh, playroom and then installed the tire back on. Yep and that worked just great. It was a little bit of work getting a hole dug, but <laughs> so when you heard about us digging a hole, that's why we dug a hole so we could make room for the tire because we could only lift it off the ground so far with the levelers. Right. So that's what we needed a hole for. So we got everything cinched down. We had our Vier compressor. Yep. So then uh, we just put the air back into the spare tire, got everything installed. We were kind of fighting time. So the reason the video was going so quick is we wanted to get done before it got dark because it was about four o'clock when it happened. Right. So we uh, muddled our way back into uh, Vegas. Uh, no problems at all. Got settled in and what we'll do is we haven't been real happy with the tires that are on the Montana when we bought it. So we're just gonna go and get four new tires. Yep. And uh, uh, one of the things you wanted to bring up is the teamwork. The teamwork, one of the things that um we were fighting time because it was starting to get dark is the teamwork that both of us used in order to make this process go fairly smoothly and uh, as quick as possible so uh, it literally was what's the plan of attack he dealt with part of it i dealt with part of it um, we used our collaboration trying to figure out how we we're gonna the new tire on when we didn't have really enough room yeah. so uh, the teamwork really made a big difference I think it really did so guys don't ever think you shouldn't be doing something like that without the input of your wife because uh, between the two of us we uh, managed to get through it because we had to be kind of clever so uh, anyway so we're all safe everything's cool um, I tell you when you lose a tire like that it was like a like a bomb a bomb went off in it but and you didn't lose control, so that was a good thing. Yeah, so guys, don't panic if you lose a tire. We felt like we had full control of the RV, and we were going like 60 miles per hour. So, right. so anyway, that's our story. We're sticking to it. I want to thank you for watching. From We didn't want to do any show uh, thing from Vegas here because we wanted to kind of get past the seriousness. Yep. And so our next couple of uh, videos should be about things in Vegas. Yep. Yeah, so we're excited to be here. Thanks for watching. Please take the time to subscribe to our channel, uh, like our videos. We appreciate it and share our videos. We appreciate it. We're all safe. And now we get to show you some stuff down here in the Vegas world. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist, RV Travel Buddy, 
which is tips, resources, and services, RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences, RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future, the insane RV360 videos, our amazing RV.TV, where amazing stories come from RVers, and last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.